Okay, so what is volume and why should we measure it? So remember those boxes that we were talking about? You know, Amazon needs to know how much cardboard they need to make these boxes. Well, the reason they need the boxes is because they have to put things inside. And so the reason they need boxes of different sizes is because they have different capacities. And what fits inside is what they're measuring the capacity of, and that's the volume. Because the definition of volume says the number of cubic units that fill the interior of a three-dimensional figure. So if they filled it to capacity, in other words, they filled every little space of it, they would be filling the entire, every single cubic inch of it. But we know most Amazon boxes come half empty because they waste a lot of space. But a pool is something that usually is filled all the way to the brim. And so who wouldn't love a pool? So the amount of water that goes in a pool, or if you fill up your bathtub because you want a lot of water in your bathtub, okay, is something that also is measured in volume. Okay, and we measure that usually in the United States in gallons, but of course, every other place in the world, we don't measure in gallons, we would measure it in liters. Okay, now, how do we go about calculating volume? Well, we are focusing on prisms. And when we're measuring them, we use a basic formula. Volume of a prism is as easy as figuring out the area of the base and multiplying it by the height of the prism. Now, when we're talking about height of a prism, we got to remember that height of a prism is something that we have to think about. It's the perpendicular distance between the two bases. Now, remember that cube that we've talked about before? So in the cube, the distance is just going to be that edge that travels between the bottom square and the top square. That's it. But in other ones, we'll go ahead and we'll look at those and we'll see what the heights are. Now, to make this formula a little shorter, we use some variables. So as we go ahead and use them, instead of using a slowercase b for area of a base, we use a capital B. And because heights are used for heights within a two-dimensional surface, like for example, the height of a parallelogram or the height of a triangle, we use a capital H to represent height of a prism. So the formula for volume of a prism is area of the base times the height, and we use capital B to mean area of the base, and we use the capital H to represent the height of the prism. So let's go ahead and use this formula to find our area of our cube. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out our big B, the area of the base, which is a square. So I'm going to write down here SQ for square. And I know the formula for area of a square is side squared. And since the square has an edge of five, five squared would be 25. And then I need to know what my height is. So my height is the distance between the two faces, which is five centimeters. So my volume is area of the base times the height, which is 25 times five, which is 125 cubic centimeters. So here we have two other prisms. So we have a rectangular prism and a triangular prism. So volume is still the same. Area of the base times the height of the prism. So if we were going to do this rectangular prism, again, remember for rectangular prisms, it doesn't matter which face you choose to be the rectangular base. So I'm going to use the bottom, which is the rectangle that's 25 by 4. So for the area of my base, I know that it's base times height, which is 25 times 4, which is 100. And my big H is, 
a height, which is 18 inches. And so my volume is area of my base times the height, which is 100 times 18, which is 1800 inches cubed. Okay, now this next one is, remember, a triangular prism. So the base is a triangle. So area formula for a triangle is base times height divided by two. So the base of the triangle is one and a half meters. And the height of the triangle would be one and 75 hundredths meters divided by two. So next we do the math. Okay, which is one and three thousand one hundred and twenty-five ten thousandths meters squared. And now we need the height. And so there's three and four tenths meters between the two triangles. So our volume is area of the base times the height. And in this case, it would be area of the base is that value times three and four tenths, which gives us this. And I'm going to go ahead and round it to the nearest tenths place, which is approximately four and five tenths meters cubed. Thank you.